From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time for another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV, out on location on the USS Orlick in downtown Jacksonville, brought to you by our friends at the Fire Watch. My guest this time, this time around is Bill Duran and Philip Ailes. Let's welcome them to the show. Bill, great to have you on Tom, the show. I'm so man. excited to be here. Hey, it's great to have yeah. you, my friend. So you were in the Army. Yep. Was in how, the long, Army. how long did Five you serve? Five years. Five years. Yep. Out of high school, college? Right how'd you school. go? Right, right out, out of high school. How'd you know you were going to do that? Uh, you know, growing up, age. I had family in the military. Okay. Uh, I had an older brother who was kind of my mentor. He's, he's my, um, and his father was killed in Vietnam. Okay. And so we were wow. always a very, you know, military-driven family. Yep. Uh, my dad couldn't go in because of medical reasons, but my grandfather was in and wounded. Okay. So wow. it was always in the back of my mind. Yep. And then after high school a little bit, I decided one day, I'm like, you know what? It's time to make this dream come true. Yep. And I, I signed up. Great career path, right? Great. I mean, great start to life. Absolutely. Obviously, there can be huge <laughs> risks based sure. on what's going on in the world. But, man, what a, what a great, great run you had for yeah. five years. What would you do with the Army? I was a combat engineer. I was on the explosive side, oh. did work for NATO for a little bit Okay. Um, over in Bosnia and places like that. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of life lessons that have stuck with me since. So I bet. Best, I bet. Best five years, you know. Good. Best thing I could have done. Good for you, man. Yeah. Great to have you on the Absolutely. show. Philip, how you doing, my friend? Hey. Good how to see you. Thank Old you. Old military police gentleman. Is that what I'm told? Yes. Wow. How long were we in the Army for? 24 years. 24. All his military. Thank you. God bless you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, all, I got all into his military police, or what? what would you, how'd it go? No, actually, I uh, <coughs> I was in National Guard first, and then went active duty. Uh, okay. Because I was a police officer in Ohio, wow. and I was making ten bucks an hour as, as a, a cop. police officer. No kidding. Yeah, and you know what? I looked at it and it was like I couldn't afford to feed my family on that, so yeah. I went active duty, and it was the best decision I ever made. Wow. Everybody tried to talk me out of it, saying, yeah. oh, you're not, because I was 26. Yeah. And I looked at it, and I didn't have any of the stories my brothers did, but when they went in overseas and everything, and I felt like I was missing out. Yeah. And I was going to school. I uh, went on active duty. I earned my bachelor's. Okay. Cool. I transitioned off active into the reserves to for my master's. Yeah. And then I went over and it actually deployed with a phenomenal unit, uh, 324th out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. We trained the Iraqi police in Baghdad. Wow. We were the last iteration of military before they transitioned over to civilians teaching. Wow. And met some phenomenal people. Yeah. It's one of those things that it was like, for me, it was like going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And I found out that I was more comfortable in a combat zone than I was here in my own country. Wow. No kidding. Because that's what you train for yeah, in that yeah, chaos. Yeah, yeah. Constant. And then when you go to it, you're like, wow, this is my element. Yeah. And then when you come back, unfortunately, they indoctrinate you into it. But there's nothing for you when you get when out. When you get out. Right, right. And I had, I spent several years traveling. And I realized in myself, I didn't have the emotional intelligence or mindfulness yeah. to integrate effectively back into the civilian wow. world. Wow. And it's taken me time to do that. Okay. And, and, and today, what's, what's AO Solutions? What are you guys doing? AO or Solutions, doing? I came up with AO Solutions because I want to find your vet solutions, okay. not just give them, well, you go here or whatever. I look in because... In my schooling and everything, I went to Jesuit colleges. Okay. And it was about developing the whole person rather than just them academically. Yep. And I want to show that <laughs> there is that pursuit of happiness. Yeah. And I want to use emotional intelligence and mindfulness to bring them to the present. Yep. To realize great, wonderful things in the past. Yep. But they don't do anything for you from here on out. And now it's about refocusing and family means a lot more now Good. than it ever has. Good. Well, I'm glad you're here, Philip. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank you for your service, man. I yeah, appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And, and awesome. Bill, you, uh, you work for your brother, right? Yeah. You guys are in business together and, uh, you guys, what you represent truck yeah, so driving 
Accidents? Yeah, we're the truck accident law firm, and okay. we, we represent victims and families of catastrophic trucking crashes. Jeez. More importantly, we fight <laughs> for safety changes okay. so that we don't have new clients. That's right. our ultimate goal. Right. So, but yeah, we, we deal with purely catastrophic trucking crashes, commercial uh, motor vehicle crashes. Right. Um, What's the biggest culprit if there is one? Falling asleep or just getting tired? Distracted driving. Distracted. Without a shadow of a doubt. That's which is, it. And I think that's not just in semis, no, but in cars not. as well. it's all over the place. Okay. Right, right. Wow. Wow. Well, that's yeah. great. Um, well, I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for your service as yeah, well. Yeah, we appreciate it. Great appreciate stories. It. And, yeah. man, I, I can't imagine. But I'm glad what you're doing. I, we, we have a lot of veterans on our show. There are a lot of organizations on yeah. our show. There's a lot of help for all, all yes. of our great veterans yeah. to take advantage of, and I hope they do including with Hale's Solutions. All right. So thanks for being Great. here, guys. All right. Peace and love. Thank you. Hey, more All of right. these conversations over at IWantABuzz.com. We're on the USS Orlec. Till next time, be safe and be cool. Be right here. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. Cheers.